The Phoenix Suns have managed to be one of the NBA's best teams after a superb playoff run in 2021. Chris Paul and Devin Booker showed great chemistry, which pushed their team to the top in the Western Conference. But once the All-Star break was over, the Suns had eager fans waiting to ask some burning questions about their comeback. Keep watching this video to know what those questions are, plus more. First up, the Phoenix record. At this year's All-Star break, the Suns sat at 48-10, which was the best record to ever be made in NBA. To remind you all, last season was also picture perfect for the Suns. They made it all the way to the finals, and that six-game defeat against the Milwaukee Bucks only made them stronger. Fans had their doubts about the playoffs, but Paul and Booker took it upon themselves to take the team to new heights. So, with the playoff experience under their belt, the Suns have a better chance of winning the whole championship this season. Not to forget how the roster is made up of some exciting names who have the potential of delivering what the team lacked last season. So, are we looking at our championship? Champs? Fans definitely have a lot of questions for the Suns. Let's have a look. Can the Suns close out a series when it matters the most? The Suns are a serious contender in the NBA, and it's very likely they'll take it all the way to actually winning the title this season. They came up short in the finals last season, but that doesn't have to be the case this time. Previous season was all a matter of determination, and Bucks proved to have more of it as it seized control and won four games straight. It was a complete collapse for the Suns, but they've come up for revenge this time around and that record helps deliver the message for the entire team that they are a force to be reckoned with. All eyes are definitely on Booker and the rest of the team to close playoff matchups strong, but let's remember that they have the skills to do so. Will the Suns get through the tough Western Conference again? Phoenix has undeniably been the best team in the league, but that doesn't mean the other teams are to be taken lightly. The Golden State Warriors have had an exceptional last season and will be a tough team to take down this season. Players like Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Clay. Thompson are elite, and they have championship experience backing them as well. So unless Booker and Co. have a smart strategy in mind, they may have a difficult time facing the Warriors. And as Green's expected to be on the floor for the playoffs after being sidelined with an injury, the Suns will have to do all they can to face the Warriors. Thompson and Curry are the dynamic duo that can easily counter Booker and Paul. The Golden State Warriors are the biggest threat to the Suns' journey to the finals. One thing to note about the Warriors, though, is how they're missing a strong center. Aiton on the Suns' side can easily feast on this opportunity. This is an advantage for the entire team if used right. So yes, there are still chances that the Suns will get through the Western Conference without as much as a scratch, because other than the Warriors, no other team is tough enough to stop them. Can the Suns stop the elite bigs? The well-constructed roster will do its job clearing the Suns' path to the finals, but one thing they should be worried about is the elite players. This is a valid concern expressed by the fans before the the start and forces the Suns to look back on the events from the previous season. The Bucks superstar Giannis Adetokounmpo grilled the Suns in the finals, which included a 50-point performance in the closeout game. Things could go very similarly this season too. There will be many elites in the playoffs whom the Suns will have no option except to face. The LA Lakers have struggled recently, but they're already in the playoffs. Anthony Davis has proved to be problematic for the Lakers in the past as well, and depending on the match to take place, things can go back badly for the Suns. Then, of course, there's Nikola Jovic and a well-doing Denver Nuggets squad. Jovic has proved himself to be an offensive mastermind. His forte includes playmaking, rebounding, and scoring, which could be a problem for the Suns should they face his team. Even after moving past the Western Conference, the Suns could be faced with Adad Kumpo again, or even worse, the Sixers star Joel Embiid. All of those names will be fierce matchups for the Suns, who can't rely entirely on Nathan's non-elite abilities as a means of defense. And while Bismack Biombo and JaVale McGee have been brought on board, they seriously can't be expected to contain the big elites all by themselves. This could be the downfall Williams' team has been avoiding, and if he can't come up with a smart plan of action, that could very much be it for the Suns this season. Now in other NBA news, the Warriors have owned the Nuggets in Game 2. Steve Curry is their greatest asset. Curry's foot injury late in the regular season forced the Warriors coach Steve Kerr to tinker with his initial lineup for the first two games of the postseason playoffs. The result of this has been pretty encouraging as Curry came off the bench on Monday night and dropped a spectacular total of 34 points in 23 minutes. This was during the Warriors' groundbreaking win over the Nuggets in Game 2 of the Western Conference quarterfinals. Curry's performance was so good that the opposing team's head coach was forced to admit that he's the NBA's greatest sixth man ever in the playoffs. And we agree with what Malone said. As a 
it turns out, Curry's 30-plus points in 23 minutes is a feat never been done before in the NBA. He dominated completely until the Nuggets had no option but to give in. That's what we are talking about. This guy is a serious threat to the Suns as well. There was uncertainty about his contribution to the regular season, but there was still talk about him participating in the playoffs. And now he's here, so the Suns better beware. Next, here's a player these teams need to chase in 2022, free agency. The NBA teams who are out of the season have already started preparing for the next one, but even the ones who are still playing are starting to realize gaps in their respective rosters. Here's a player these major teams need to chase as a free agency this year, starting with the Suns. Okay, if the Suns lose McGee to some other team, it will open up space for someone more promising, and we have a suggestion. The Suns should go to Jamie Jones this summer. In his early days playing for the Warriors, Jones didn't have much going on for him. There were defensive lapses, poor hands, and absolutely no feel or timing on offense. He was pretty much a lost cause. Jones had size, but it seemed like he didn't know how to put it to use, as he was just the worst at offense. But after switching four teams, he started showing progress at last. The guy is still only 26 years old and has tons of potential. And now that he's figured his strategy out and may be useful for the Suns on the offensive hub. McGee hasn't done much on the defense, so switching things up may turn out to be the answer to Williams' prayers. What about the Bucks? Someone just has to bag TJ Warren, who has logged a sum of four games since playing some of the best basketball of his career. The Bucks might be the team who can take advantage of the guy the most. They can offer him a major role as a contender, not to mention how there will always be the option of a replacement should the gamble fail. When he was last healthy, Warren was playing magnificently and was one of the most reliable two-way weapons of the league. He was once called a committed defender and got really committed in that regard. So, if the Bucks take him up, he could be worth the risk. And finally, here's a suggestion for the Nuggets. Do you remember Gary Harris and his beautiful mental connection with Jokic that allowed the two to create backdoor cuts on the baseline and pinpoint passes that occurred simultaneously? Alright, the version of Harris may be gone for good, but that doesn't mean he's good for nothing now. He's currently doing a good job for Orlando Magic, but the team that saw him at his best could pull even more skill out of him if he's given a chance. The guy to lose could be unrestricted agent Bryn Forbes, and some of that shooting will need to be replaced. The homecoming vibes could be pretty strong with Harris. That was it for today's video. What are your expectations from the Suns in the current playoffs? Let us know in the comments down below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, where we post similar videos quite frequently. We'll see you in the next one.